Imagine a serene day by the water where an unseen danger lurks below the surface. The sun is shining, its rays dancing on the water's surface as our protagonist enjoys a day of leisure. Their name remains a mystery for now, a piece of the puzzle will reveal as our tale unfolds. This individual, so full of life, has no idea that a seemingly innocent dip in the water will catapult them into a nightmarish ordeal. The day started like any other, filled with laughter and carefree moments. Our protagonist, an avid swimmer, was eager to dive into the cool, inviting water. As they plunged into the depths, the world around them fell silent, the water's surface turning from a gateway to the world above into a barrier to their survival. Below these tranquil waves hid an unseen danger, a perilous trap that was about to snap shut. As they ventured further from the shore, the undercurrents grew stronger, turning the water from their friend into their foe. The once welcoming waves transformed into a monstrous whirlpool, pulling them deeper into its chilling depths. The water, a symbol of life, became a harbinger of death, its icy grip tight around our protagonist, threatening to snuff out their life. In the midst of their struggle, panic set in. The human body, when threatened, responds in extraordinary ways. Hypoxia, a lack of oxygen reaching the tissues, triggered bradycardia, a significant slowing of the heart rate. As their body fought against the impending doom, their mind was besieged by terror. The world above seemed a distant memory, their hopes of reaching it dwindling with each passing second. As the struggle continued, a day of joy turned into a fight for survival. Each gasp for air was a plea for life, each futile kick a testament to their will to live. But the water was relentless, its cold embrace growing tighter. Beneath the sunlit surface, a battle waged between life and death. A battle we'll explore in the depths of trapped underwater, a drowning survivor's journey. In the blink of an eye, a day of joy turned into a fight for survival. As the protagonist was dragged into the depths, their body initiated a desperate fight against the suffocating darkness. Imagine being plunged into a world where every breath is a luxury you can't afford, where the only sound is the deafening silence of your own heartbeat. This is the chilling reality of drowning. As the protagonist descended further into the abyss, their body instinctively kicked into survival mode. The brain, recognizing the lack of oxygen, triggered a state of hypoxia. This isn't a mere gasping for air, it's a primal physiological response to a terrifying situation. Hypoxia is the body's alarm bell, a silent scream echoing through every cell, signaling a desperate need for oxygen. As the body's oxygen levels plummeted, another survival mechanism was activated, bradycardia. Bradycardia is the slowing down of the heart rate, an attempt to conserve the little oxygen that remained. This involuntary response is a testament to the body's tenacity, its relentless endeavor to cling on to life against all odds. But the body's fight against drowning doesn't stop there. As water filled the lungs, the body's reflexes forced a shutdown of the airway, a phenomenon known as laryngospasm. This is the body's final defense, a desperate attempt to prevent water from reaching the lungs, buying precious time in the face of imminent danger. Yet every defense mechanism has its limits. As the body's struggles against the suffocating darkness intensified, so did the risk of succumbing to the lethal embrace of the water. Each passing second underwater was a ticking time bomb, a grim countdown to the end. In the depths of this underwater nightmare, the life or death struggle raged on. Amidst the swirling currents and the crushing pressure, the protagonist was locked in a battle against time, their own body, and the relentless, unforgiving nature of water. Every second underwater, the body was slowly succumbing to the lethal embrace of the water. Just as hope seemed to be fading, an unexpected hand reached out. Our protagonist, submerged in the chilling depths, had been locked in a dance with death. The water, once a symbol of tranquility, had transformed into a terrifying abyss. But in this moment, as despair threatened to consume them, a glimmer of hope pierced through the darkness. A group of trained rescuers, their hearts pounding with adrenaline, had spotted our protagonist below the surface. Their minds sharp, focused, they sprang into action, executing a swift and meticulously planned rescue operation. 
Descending into the icy depths, they reached out, grasping the protagonist's lifeless body and began the arduous journey back to the surface. Emerging from the water, the protagonist was met with a flurry of activity. The rescuers, now morphing into emergency medical technicians, wasted no time in starting the life-saving procedures. The protagonist's limp body was carefully laid down and immediately the rhythmical dance of cardiopulmonary resuscitation, or CPR, began. Imagine a metronome ticking away, setting the pace for the compressions. One, two, three, four. Each push onto the chest, a desperate plea for life to return, for the heart to start its rhythmic beat once more. The air, once filled with the chilling silence of imminent death, was now punctuated by the steady rhythm of survival. Simultaneously, an oxygen mask was placed over the protagonist's face. The importance of this action cannot be overstated. Oxygen, the elixir of life, was being forced into their lungs, countering the effects of hypoxia, the dangerous lack of oxygen that had been slowly suffocating them underwater. The team worked like a well-oiled machine, their movements precise, their focus unwavering. Each second mattered, each action held the weight of life or death. It was a race against time, a tug of war with the Grim Reaper himself. And so there, on the edge of life and death, the protagonist lay their fate hanging in the balance, the relentless rhythm of CPR continuing. With every chest compression, life was being forced back into the protagonist. Though the protagonist was back on the surface, the fight was far from over. Emerging from the water's cold, crushing grip was only the beginning of a long, grueling journey towards survival. The body, having been deprived of oxygen, now faced the daunting task of recovery. Imagine, if you will, a city plunged into darkness. The power grid has failed, leaving the streets devoid of light. In much the same way, our body, when deprived of oxygen, enters a state of emergency. Our cells, the tiny powerhouses of our body, are left gasping for air, trying to function in an environment that suddenly become hostile. In the aftermath of near drowning, the body is in a state of chaos. The heart races, desperate to pump oxygen-rich blood to the starved cells. The lungs work over time, gasping for breath, trying to replenish the body's oxygen stores. It's a race against time. Every second counts. That's where the importance of oxygen administration comes in. By providing high concentrations of oxygen, we help the body recover faster. It's like jump-starting a car that's run out of battery. We're giving the body the boost it needs to get its systems running again. And yet, the battle is far from over. The body, much like a ship after a storm, must repair the damage inflicted by the lack of oxygen. Cells must regenerate, tissues must heal, and the body must regain its strength. It's a long, arduous process, but with every passing day, our protagonist grows stronger, inching closer to recovery. In this relentless battle for survival, the protagonist isn't alone. Doctors, nurses, family and friends stand as a beacon of hope, providing the necessary medical treatment and emotional support. They are the unsung heroes, the lifelines that help the protagonist navigate the choppy waters of recovery. In this gripping tale of survival, we're reminded of the resilience of the human spirit. Despite the odds, despite the challenges, the protagonist continues to fight, continues to persevere. The journey is far from easy, but with every step, with every breath, the protagonist is closer to regaining their life. As the protagonist clung onto life, the relentless battle against the aftermath of drowning continued. Against all odds, our protagonist, who we can now reveal as Alex, began to show signs of recovery. The journey from the brink of death back to life is an arduous one, but for Alex, it was a battle he was determined to win. The medical aspects of his recovery were nothing short of miraculous. His body, once starved of vital oxygen, had to relearn how to function properly. His heart, which had slowed to a crawl, now had to regain its normal rhythm. His lungs, once filled with water, had to remember how to breathe air again. But perhaps the most astounding aspect of Alex's recovery was the sheer willpower he demonstrated. He refused to let his near-death experience define him. Instead, he used it as fuel, pushing himself harder every day to regain his strength and vitality. His determination was a testament to the human spirit, a beacon of hope in the face of adversity. 
The medical team marveled at Alex's progress. Each day brought a new milestone, a new victory in his fight against death. He was a living testament to the power of modern medicine and the indomitable human spirit. His story was not just one of survival, but of triumph over almost insurmountable odds. Throughout his recovery, Alex displayed a level of emotional strength that was nothing short of awe-inspiring. He faced each challenge head-on, refusing to let fear or doubt creep in. His courage was a beacon of hope, proving that even in the face of death, the human spirit can prevail. But Alex's journey was not just a personal one. It was a journey that touched the lives of everyone who knew him. His story served as a reminder of the fragility of life, the power of the human spirit, and the importance of never giving up. In the face of death, Alex's resilience shone through, proving that even in the darkest depths, there is always a way back to the surface.